Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel, we hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show 2024 MV Augusta Brutal 1000RR Assen first look review and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it, please don't forget to subscribe for more videos, thanks for watching. The esteemed tradition of crafting remarkable special edition motorcycles in Varese, Italy, continues with the introduction of the 2024 MV Augusta Brutale 1000 RR Assen. This exceptional motorcycle is an integral part of the Tabac Classic GP hosted at the iconic TT Circuit Assen, a celebration proudly supported by MV Augusta. Building upon the success of last year's Brutale 1000 RR, which underwent rigorous testing in Italy, the 2024 Assen edition boasts a series of enhancements and refinements. While the inline-4 engine remains unaltered, the Quickshifter has received both mechanical and software updates, enhancing its performance capabilities. An exclusive special parts kit is provided, exclusively intended for track use, which includes aero-titanium mufflers paired with a high-performance ECU that elevates the peak output to an impressive 212 horsepower at 13,600 RPM. Additional distinctive components include a carbon fiber cover for the pillion perch, meticulously CNC-machined brake and clutch levers, and an exquisite aluminum fuel cap. For road legal enthusiasts, the motorcycle is adorned with carbon fiber rotobox wheels, a luxurious blue Alcantara seat, a meticulously polished two-tone fuel tank, an array of eye-catching silver accents, an abundance of carbon fiber embellishments, and custom model-specific special edition graphics. MV Augusta continues its streak of limited editions paying homage to history, brands, racers, and now, a track. The Cathedral of Speed is the inspiration for this limited edition MV Augustal, the Brutale 1000 RR Assen. Made in Italy, the limited edition bike that pays homage to the racetrack also harks back to MV Augusta's 35 victories on the Assen circuit. MV Augusta is the most successful Italian manufacturer, and third overall in terms of successes on the Dutch track, with its history dating back to 1976 when Giacomo Agostini triumphed in the 350 class. The 300 numbered units, all handmade in Italy, pay homage to those glorious days. It was also developed in collaboration with the Assen circuit, and the 300 bikes are a result of that agreement. Special Assen edition finishes and parts are used in the making of this beautiful edition. From special emblems, plaques, carbon fiber panels, aluminum side plates, blue Alcantara upholstery, and special finishing throughout, this is one heck of a machine. Aside from the gorgeous looks of the already beautiful Brutale 1000RR, the Assen edition further adds to the bike's exotic looks. MV writes that the specific color scheme of the Assen edition combines blue Nordico, Argento Ago, and gold in other words, the blue, silver, and gold into the mix resulting in an elegant, sporty, and perfect color palette that highlights the model's attention to detail and first-rate technical equipment. On the note of that technical equipment, the engine that powers the Brutale 1000RR is a Euro 5 998 cubic centimeters inline four-cylinder engine that punches out 208 horsepower at 13,000 rpm and 116.5 newton meters or 85.9 pound-feet of torque at 11,000 rpm. The bike tips the scales, dry, at a weight of just 183 kilograms or 403 pounds. This results in a power-to-weight ratio of 1.1 horsepower per kilogram, measured with its dry weight. As for its footwork, the MV Augusta Brutale 1000 RR Assen boasts top-of-the-line hardware, with a 43mm Olean's Nixie C hydraulic upside-down fork with 120mm of travel, and an Olean's EC TTX rear shock with 120mm of travel. Both are electronically controlled and damped with compression and rebound damping settings. While the front suspension features manual preload, the rear features electronically adjustable spring preload adjustment. Braking power is assured with a set of double floating discs in the front coming in at 320mm each, while a single steel disc coming in at 220mm sits at the back. <laughs> 